Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Paige. I post nursing school related content. I am currently in nursing school. This is my last and final semester of college and so I'll graduate in December. But today's video is all about a back to school video. So yesterday was Saturday and that's when I moved into my new apartment. So today on Sunday is kind of my day to get everything in my apartment ready and then get ready for school and I start classes tomorrow. So I'm going to kind of walk you all through what my starting for school um, agenda is like and how I prepare myself for the semester. And I'm also going to do a little bit of a apartment tour and show you where I'll be living this semester. So this semester I have a one roommate this year and her name is Megan. You all have met her before. She graduates in December with me so it's perfect that we can live together this semester. I only have one semester left in my program. This semester is my high acuity slash synthesis semester. So the first eight weeks are high acuity ICU care. And then the second eight weeks are going to be my synthesis, we call it, which is like a practicum kind of deal with a nurse, you know, working full time in a hospital, obviously alongside a nurse. And so mine this year, I'll be spending in the NICU. For those of you who do not know, that's a neonatal ICU. And so if you watched one of my videos from last semester about the process of how I chose that, thankfully I got NICU, which was one of my top choices. So that's where I'll be towards the end of the semester. But the beginning is normal classes, lecture, clinical in the ICU, which is awesome because I think I do want to be an ICU nurse. So I will take you all through the process of, you know, filling out my planner and getting ready emotionally, mentally for nursing school and the start of a new semester. I had all summer off. Thankfully, my program does have summers off, which is awesome. And so after a few months off of nursing school, I need to kind of get my brain back into it. And so that's today, what Sunday is going to be. And like I said, tomorrow I start my classes. So I'm gonna give you all a little apartment tour just to start, and then I will show you what I do with nursing school. Alrighty y'all, so I'm gonna start off by showing you when you walk in what you see. So we have this rug that I got from TJ Maxx, this little um, mirror that my aunt got me, and then this is just a little coat closet. This is kind of the initial view of the place. So this is our little kitchen area. We have our Keurig fridge. That's all of our like fruits and vegetables. And then this. This rug is from probably TJ Maxx. I have my cold brew making for this week. And then over here we have our sink, our little scrub mommy. Paper towels, our pressure cooker and air fryer, toaster, all the things. If you're wondering, this is the fresh linen scent from Airwick. Right next to our kitchen is a little laundry room, which is really nice. Our laundry's in here. And so kind of have all of our cleaning supplies, laundry in here, and then our washer and dryer. This is my favorite room. I love doing laundry for anyone who did not know. And then we go into our little family room area. We have these pictures from, of course, TJ Maxx. Everything on the couch is from TJ Maxx or like Home Goods, Marshalls. I got all this freshman year, and so it's not really my style as much as I would like it to be, but there's no point in me buying new stuff for one semester. I have a little basket full of blankets that I got for my grandma and then all of our blankets. This is our little stand. It has a bunch of little things. It came with the TV, which is so nice. And then this is our little bar cart. That's kind of a little sneak peek to my room. And then over here is our coffee table and a little end table. And then I have this and then a plant that my grandma gave me. My grandma has given me a lot of her old home stuff. So if you're wondering where anything's from, it's either from her, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods. If you want to know where something specific is from, you can comment down below and I'll let you know. But I'm just going to tell you that's probably the answer. Okay, so then there's this patio door that leads to our little balcony. Here to get some fresh air. Cute little place. And then back inside, here's kind of just a view of the place. On the right side over here is Megan's room. And then my room is over here. And this is kind of your initial view when you walk in. 
So there's the door. I have little pictures of my best friends from home. I have my monogram that I've, again, had since like freshman year. And then my curtains, you can see outside, my pillow, my bedding. I have a little side table. That rose is from my boyfriend. That's a picture of us. And then a lamp, wall plug-in, Bath & Body Works, um, vanilla lavender. And then I just have my laptop, my throw blanket, all my little like stuffed animals. On the other side of my bed, I have another floor lamp and then my little jewelry stand, a printer, and then this table that my, oh my gosh, you can see me. My apartment came with. I got very lucky that my apartment came with furniture. So in my room, it came with my bed, a little nightstand. And then this dresser came with my apartment. I brought the TV and then it was too wide for my dresser. So I got like a thick poster board to set it on. Honestly, it works. And then this is kind of a little built-in desk and chair that came with my apartment. My backpack under there, just kind of set there for now. I have my makeup brushes, all of my pencils and markers for school. And then I have this awesome mirror. Oh, that light bulb's burnt out, I need to change that. But this is, um, it was actually made by my uncle, so you can't buy it, but he made that for me. Got um, a pad to put on the chair just to make it more comfy. Picture of my parents, my sister and I. And then I have this rug and I put that under my bed. So there it is, this is kind of it. There's another picture. That's it from my room. And then I have a nice big bathroom here and Megan and I each have our own bathroom, which is super nice. But on my um, desk here, I just have soap, all my like clips, hair ties and stuff, tissues. This is all of my skincare. Anybody cares to know what all of this is, I will obviously do a video on that for ya. Over here, I just have a little tray of my perfume, a picture, and then just my toilet and a candle. There's a lot of nice storage in these drawers, so I have them all kind of full of stuff. And then I have two little rugs. This one does not really like my door, but I'm working with her. Behind my door is robes. And then here is just my shower. Nothing special in there. Over here is a little linen closet. So I put all of my goodies in there. At the back of my bathroom is my closet. It's actually quite large. It's so nice. I have my laundry hamper, sweaters, purses, dresses, miscellaneous. All my boots are up there. Um, my jackets are here and sweatshirts. And then I have my scrubs down there with my jeans and then all of my t-shirts and all of my shoes. So yeah, this is my closet in my bathroom. Very thankful that it's a, such a nice size. And I have storage for everything, especially my clothes and my closet. I had to bring less stuff because I'm only here for like five months, but obviously I did not do that well at that. Yeah, this is my little home for the next few months. Quite homey here, I love it so far. I've only been here for one night, obviously. But now is time to get ready for this semester and kind of show you all how I get my thoughts organized and prepared for another semester because I obviously need to do well. It's my last semester and so I'll show you. So this is actually my first semester having an iPad so that will definitely help me stay organized and be organized. Whenever I start a semester, I like to go through all of my syllabus and um, anytime there's a due date, an exam or anything, I put it in my planner. This is my cute little planner. It's Erin Condren. I customized it myself. So my school uses Canvas, so I'm gonna go into that app. Okay, so I honestly haven't even looked really at what classes I'm taking exactly. Obviously, I registered for them. I know it's high cutie, but so I have a career management class, and then I have um, high acuity, and this one's not all fun yet. And then I have, what's this? Oh, this is my synthesis, like what I was telling you about when I'm with the nurse 24 seven. And so those are my three classes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign um, just a color marker to each class. So I'll probably do high acuity in light pink, because that's my favorite color and that's my like most important class. So I'm gonna do high acuity in light pink. And then I'm gonna do career management in light blue. And then I'll do synthesis in purple. So that's how I will write them in my planner. So say I have something due 
um, on a day for high acuity. I'll write it pink just so, you know, I can keep that organized. So here is this coming week. I haven't written anything yet. I haven't even started this yet. Um, sometimes I like to do it well before school, but I just moved in yesterday, so that did not happen this year. But I know that tomorrow I have a Zoom orientation for my high acuity class. I'm gonna go find that in my canvas. I'm just kind of going through. My professor really hasn't done much with our high acuity class yet. It looks like, like nothing. So I'm actually just gonna start with my clinicals because those are the dates that I know right now. I have an email actually that says what day my clinicals are. So let me just explain to y'all a little bit what nursing school has done to me. So in the spring, I registered for my classes and that's when we get to pick our clinical section. My options this semester were Monday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday and they're 12 hour shifts this semester. And we could do either day or night shift. I obviously wanted to do day shift because I've never worked a night shift before. And with classes, I want to be day shift because I don't want to have sleep during the day because I need to study for my classes and do my assignments. And so I signed up for Saturday day shift. It was just kind of what was left for me, what I chose. And I got an email last week, a week before school starts that my section was supposed to be a night shift section and it was miswritten in the registration for classes. And I, she said like, please let me know if that's okay. And I emailed being honest, cause I, you have to stick up for yourself because nobody else will do it for you. So I was like, hi, I'm gonna be honest. I'm very worried about having a night shift clinical because I want to have enough time to study. And you know, is there any way I can get out of, you know, this section and into a day shift section because I'm really worried about night shift. I've never worked the night shift before, let alone with school. And she didn't email me back. And then I got another email to like my clinical group saying, hey guys, here's your dates. So then I re-forwarded her my email and said, hey, just make sure you got this. No response, nothing. So I suppose I'm now in a night shift clinical. Never worked the night shift before. I'm, I only have three clinicals this semester. Like I said, the first eight weeks is my clinicals. And so for some reason we only have three, which is, fine then because I'm sure I can get through three night shifts. But if anybody has any tips for how to work a night shift, please comment down below because I'm very worried about it. Only thing I'm worried about is battling them together because I know when I graduate, I'm probably gonna have to be a night shift nurse for the first year or so, so it's fine. But anyway, I'm gonna start here with writing my clinicals, what days that I have those, because like I said, it's not every week in my planner in pink because that's my high acuity class. And then um, with those three days, from what I understand so far, what they're all gonna be on a different floor. So like one day will be neuro ICU, one weekend, or I guess shift, I'll be on the like CV ICU. So I think it's gonna be different every time. I haven't had orientation yet, so I really don't know. August 26th, I have an orientation on Zoom. So that's nice that I don't have to worry about going anywhere, but it's gonna be PM, so I'm gonna say. So I put that in there and then it's pink, so I know it's high acuity. And then I'm just gonna go through and put in all of my other dates for my clinicals. Something else that I do to prepare for the semester is go through and writing when I have classes. Here on my university portal, I looked up my classes just to see, well, obviously I know what I'm enrolled in, but just to see what time they are. So it's nice it shows you this. So this semester, I only have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and they are um, actually all pretty much at night, which is very nice. I can sleep in or, you know, do stuff in the morning. And then by the time class is done, I'm done for the day. And then Saturday is my clinical day, as I was saying. So I do have Monday and Friday off, which makes me more, you know, obviously okay with having night shift because I'll have those days to recoup or to prepare. So I have this little week, you know, week of planner that I got from TJ Maxx when I was a freshman. And I really only use it at the beginning of the semester when I have no clue what day, time, whatever I have classes. And so I'm just gonna go through right now and put in my class times. Okay, so I'm all done writing this out. This is my week. Um, I think I have lecture every day. This doesn't make sense to me and neither does this, but they kind of 
I don't know, maybe I'm missing some emails or something. I'm trying to go through it all, but of course I'm still confused. But nevertheless, this is where I'll start. I do have a med math exam on Tuesday. And so at the start of every semester, we have a med math exam just to like make sure we're um, sharp on it. We still remember it because obviously we're going to be in the clinical setting giving medications. And so we always start off with that. They're never too difficult. They give us material to, you know, practice and study. So you need to print that out and do those. Basically, dimensional analysis. If you've done med math, you know what that is. But um, yeah, so I have to start studying for that. I'll probably start tomorrow, honestly. And then I have a Zoom tomorrow from 1.30 to 5.30. It's gonna be an orientation slash uh, lecture content beginner because I have my first exam. So today's Sunday, I have my first exam next Wednesday. My exams this semester are gonna come up pretty quick just because it's only an eight week course. So we need to fly through it pretty much. Like at the end of the semester, I have one exam on Wednesday and then that following Wednesday, I have another exam. And so that's definitely gonna be something that I'm gonna just have to start studying and never stop studying, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm kind of used to it. At least in eight weeks, I'll be done and I'll just be focused on my clinical, you know, in their work. And so that'll be great, but gotta get through the first eight weeks and I know I can do it. But basically I'm starting to realize that I do not know as much as I think I do about what to, I'm doing this week. So I'm gonna FaceTime my friend and hopefully she can help me when in doubt phone a friend because that is definitely what has gotten me through nursing school just being like hey we only have to do this today right or hey this is then right and just somebody like let you know that you have it together and you're not crazy this is kind of just what i do i try to organize my thoughts i'm gonna go through my syllabus and you know put in all my due dates even if it's towards the end of the semester i need to put those in just so i know and then like every week I'll just come to the new week and I'll be like, okay, I now I have this, this, and this. You know, obviously I add things in when I need to. But in regards to buying books, they obviously always recommend them. They're hundreds of dollars though. And the past few semesters, I haven't bought all of the books. So I probably won't look at them this semester. I just have found that everything that they talk about in lecture, at least for my courses, has really truly been what's on the exams. Last semester I got an A on every, almost, almost every exam and I didn't buy a book. So I'm not gonna buy one this semester and we'll see where that gets me. I don't wanna say I recommend not buying the book, but definitely try and feel out your program, your professor, every professor is different. I never have found myself somebody who reads a book to study because that just doesn't help me. I'm more of like a listen to lecture, take notes. And um, I just find that the books give you too much information rather than you know this specific stuff that your professor wants to quiz you on and test you on. And so sometimes the books are just too overwhelming. If I try and learn and memorize everything in the book, I just do not have time for that. So I really try to focus on everything that's in our lecture and our PowerPoint. So that's what I'm gonna do again this semester. I will not bore you all with me just going through my syllabus and writing dates into my planner, but that's what I do to get ready for the semester and to be like at the beginning, make sure I am organized for it all because in three weeks, I don't wanna miss an assignment because I didn't go through today and add that into my planner. And I don't really like the Canvas to-do list or the Canvas calendar. It does help as a second you know, thing, but I like to go through the syllabus because some professors aren't good at updating their Canvas. And so the date will be in the syllabus, but not in the Canvas um, to-do list. And then I'm gonna miss it. And that's not worth it to me. You know, it's up to me to look at everything and see all the dates. My first clinical is this Saturday, 7 p.m. to Sunday a.m. And so I need to kind of prepare myself for that. I'm very excited. I need to get past the stress of it being night shift and I need to, you know, appreciate that. It's my first ICU clinical, which is so exciting. And I'm very excited this semester because like I said, I think I do want to be an ICU nurse. Right now I'm leaning towards pediatrics, which I won't see this semester, but that's okay. Still seeing ICU care will be awesome. I've been a tech in the float pool before, so I've traveled to the um, ICO a couple times and I loved it as a tech, but obviously everything's different as a nurse. Nurses do a lot more in the ICU than techs do. I'm excited for my clinicals this semester and it's only three, so I have to soak them up as they come. This will be a great semester. It's really gonna fly by because like I said, those eight weeks, I have an exam, 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 like every two weeks. So I really need to stay on top of my studying and my assignments so that I can 
you know, get good grades through it. Dare I say I'm gonna do another 4.0 semester. I don't wanna say it because this one's gonna be really hard, but last semester was awesome. Felt so good to get a 4.0. That was my first time ever doing that in nursing school. We'll see if I can do it again. Obviously I'm gonna try, but if I don't, it's not the end of the world. C equals RN. I had one professor always teach us that because you can't be too hard on yourself. You gotta do what you can to get through nursing school because at the end of the day, I'll be a nurse. No matter what road I take to get there, it'll happen. I know it will. I'm so excited to be back at school making content for you all. If you have any specific videos that you'd like to see nursing related or not, comment down below and I would love to do those for you all. I definitely have some ideas of my own, but I'd love to see what you all would like to see. I have one semester of nursing school left, which is crazy to think about, but I'm so excited to bring you all along with me this semester through the ups and I'm sure the downs will be there. But thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.